power line configuration plays a critical role in the efficient and reliable distribution of electricity across vast networks. The design of power lines, whether for high-voltage transmission or low-voltage distribution, is a complex process that takes into account various factors such as capacity, safety, and infrastructure requirements. One common question that arises is why high-voltage transmission lines often feature two power lines on each pole, while low-voltage distribution lines typically have only one. Let's dive right in. To understand the reason behind this, we need to look at how electricity is generated transmitted, and distributed. Electricity plays an important role in the day-to-day -day lives of everyone powering everything from homes to communication to transportation to businesses. Electricity is generated at power plants and then transmitted to various locations for consumption. Power plants generate electricity at very high voltages to minimize energy losses during transmission. These high voltages, typically in the range of hundreds of kilovolts or even megavolts, allow the electricity to travel long distances efficiently. When it comes to transmitting electricity over long distances, the transmission lines play an important role. These lines consist of multiple conductors, usually in the form of overhead wires, supported by tall transmission towers or poles. Now, you might be wondering why there are two power lines on each pole for high-voltage transmission lines. The primary reason is redundancy and increased capacity. By having two power lines, the system ensures redundancy in case one line fails or needs maintenance. It allows for uninterrupted power supply even if one line is out of service. Imagine the impact if an entire region lost power due to a single line failure. Moreover, having two lines doubles the capacity of the transmission system. It allows for a higher amount of electricity to be transmitted, meeting the increasing demands of industries and households. Now. Let's shift our focus to low-voltage distribution lines. These lines are responsible for delivering electricity from the transmission lines to our homes, businesses, and other end-users. Unlike transmission lines, distribution lines transmit electricity at lower voltages, typically ranging from hundreds of volts to a few thousand volts. The reason we only see a single line on each pole in residential areas is primarily related to safety and cost considerations. Distribution lines carry electricity to a smaller geographic area, usually within a neighborhood or a town. This lower-scale distribution network requires less capacity compared to the high-voltage transmission lines used for long-distance transmission. Having a single line simplifies the distribution system, making it easier to maintain and repair. In case of an issue, it is simpler to identify and isolate the problem with a single line. It also reduces the risk of accidents and electrical hazards, as lower voltages are less dangerous compared to high voltages. From a cost perspective, installing and maintaining two power lines in every residential area would significantly increase the infrastructure expenses. By utilizing a single line, the cost of distribution systems can be kept relatively lower. This cost effectiveness allows utility companies to expand the distribution network more easily and provide electricity to a larger number of customers. To recap, the reason for having two power lines on each pole for high-voltage transmission lines is redundancy and increased capacity. It ensures uninterrupted power supply and meets the growing energy demands. On the other hand, low-voltage distribution lines have a single line on each pole for safety reasons and cost-effectiveness. This simpler setup allows for easier maintenance, reduces hazards, and keeps the distribution infrastructure affordable. That's it for this video. I hope you found this explanation helpful in understanding the differences between high-voltage transmission lines and low-voltage distribution lines. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.